Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna look at some tips and tricks for the actual job roles that came out with the summer update, which are the bounty hunter, trader, and collector. Now with this, a lot of people are just usually taking them one at a time, but with it, you can actually cross over all of them and start collecting and ranking up in all areas of the job roles if you want to. Now these tips and tricks cover all three and they will help you rank up in them before you actually even start doing the job role. So the first one we're gonna look at is Bounty Hunter. Now, as you go out and you search out your bounties, you can actually start killing the enemies that are protecting your bounties and looting those bodies. And with that, you'll actually find antique bottles, tarot cards, treasure maps, etc. And as you collect those, you actually get collector XP and you'll actually start building collections that you can actually sell to Madame Nazar. Now also too, if you haven't noticed, as you progress as a bounty hunter, you'll get more dollar signs showing up on the actual bounty posters. Now, of course we get the legendary ones that we get once a week lately, but as you see the money signs show up, that means that's more difficult of a bounty, which will also bring in more money. So that's something to point out if you haven't noticed it yet. Now, another actual cool thing you could do once you hit rank 14, you'll unlock the opportunity to evade enemy fire by ducking on horseback. You just press L2 and square and X at the same time, and you actually duck out of the way of the enemy's fire. Now also too, like I mentioned before, you can actually enlist actual posse members. So when you're doing your bounty targets, you can actually get bonus XP for having them with you. And then something also too, if you haven't got the bounty wagon, when you're going after bounties, if you have more than one, now it's only gonna probably really work if you have two, but you could probably get three if you get a stolen horse, which is gonna be a little tricky. You can actually throw one bounty on your horse and then drag the other one. Now be careful though, because when you're dragging that bounty, if you go too quick or you run him over rocks, it's kind of common sense, you're gonna kill him. Now, once you've unlocked your gun spinning as a bounty hunter, double tap L1 and then hold R1 and follow the on-screen prompts to perform the tricks. It's pretty cool. You could do all of them and then actually, I think we'll keep going for almost like 30 seconds and then he'll holster the weapon. Now, next we're gonna take a look at the trader. Now, just with it, you know you're working with Crips, so Crips prefers to work with full carcasses rather than parts. So make sure you try to get a three-star carcass of whatever animal it is, and don't bother breaking it down, just bring it to him whole. Now, to maximize profits, run resupply missions rather than purchasing supplies. Kind of common sense, you don't want to spend money to make money. This way, you also get trader XP for the missions and rank up quickly. Now, next, long-distance deliveries can be especially lucrative. You take on shorter deliveries and defensive playing style to protect yourself from opportunists. Uh, next, maximize your yield of your hunt. Stow up the three carcasses on your horse while you're skinning any additional animals you come across in the wild. Now, next also too, while your primary target should be big game, don't forget to look in the sky as birds can make a real quick and easy kills for your ride back to camp. And then also too, at rank five, you can purchase the medium delivery wagon to help maximize turnover on delivery missions. Once you reach rank 10, upgrade to a large delivery wagon and purchase a hunting wagon to haul even more carcasses and hides and pelts. So next, let's take a look at the collector. Now, Madame Nazar, we all know she travels every single day, so you have to keep a good eye out for her. Now, if you're doing it by yourself, just listen for a gramophone. You'll hear her when she's nearby, or also check out my channel every day. I'm gonna post a video of where she's at. Now, also too, while purchasing maps is the fastest way to find collectibles, don't forget to trigger Eagle Eye as you ride past points of interest. You might stumble across a valuable item you didn't know was there. For instance, if you have the metal detector, ride your horse horseback with it out, you're gonna run into a lot of stuff just that way. And then also too, like I mentioned before in the first one, loot enemy bodies as there's a chance you'll find collectibles on them and make sure to check drawers and cabinets of any buildings you visit. And finally, selling a full set of collectibles of Madame Nazar were earned for more money and selling them individually. I've done it accidentally when I first started and like I could kick myself for it now. So you can actually visit her and drop off the full sets or you can go to your local post office and actually mail them directly to her. So guys, that's it. Just wanted to give you some of these tips and tricks that Rockstar released on the Newswire. I hope they help you out. A couple of them actually I hadn't actually paid attention to and I forgot about, like especially riding horseback and you know dodging bullets. I forgot about that one. It was one of the things I was looking forward to and I just got caught up in everything else. So I appreciate if you like and share this video with your friends. Also to subscribe, click that notification bell so anytime I have videos come out and get notified right away. As always guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.